well, here we are. Uh, I finally have the uh, go-kart clutch <clears throat> mounted to my electric motor. I have all my gizmos and hoo-hahs hooked up here. I've got my lawnmower battery, and uh, there's my directional switch. And here's my uh, throttle pedal. And this is the first test, and it looks really good. Seems to me like it'll work. It's a bit rough at the beginning. It wobbles a little bit. But once the uh, weights get in it, it settles down. I don't think it's ever going to have to go any faster than that. Obviously there'll be more torque on it, but... There you go. So, as a test number one, it's not bad. And I plan to put it in here, where I have this tensioner, and the there's my second sprocket. That'll be my gas motor sprocket. That'll be my electric motor sprocket. And down here, that uh, platform is where the electric motor is going to sit. And the chain is going to... This isn't bolted down right now, so it's going to move all over the place. But basically, the chain's going to come up here, and it'll come over the side of the electric motor. And why am I doing that? Well, because this thing spins the wrong way. Uh, I thought that it would spin equally in both directions if I just switched the, the directional switch, but it doesn't. For some reason, the controller makes it spin faster uh, clockwise than it does counterclockwise. And that's bad because I have to put it in there like this, facing that way with the sprocket over there. I can't fit it with the sprocket over there. Otherwise, I'd have to move this whole thing way over here. And I'd have to move the gas motor way over there. And that would be a whole rigmarole. So I'm not doing that. Uh, but hopefully this will work. I don't know. I guess the next video might be when I... When I put it on the thing and actually run it and see if it'll actually give me a boost of power. Anyway, that's today's uh, Vulture update.